And the first time that we uh, the first time that we came in here, obviously the first thing you see is some pretty classic rock rock and roll photos. You got the Avengers, you got the Stones, the Beatles, and uh, you know right away we just got like a pretty cool vibe off of that. You know we've been to some studios before that were very corporate and very you know Art Deco couches that you weren't supposed to touch or lay on. And just didn't like it. Somebody, one of the Green Day dudes drew this. As the story goes, we yeah, don't know. But you're supposed to add on to it. So everybody's added a little thing here and there. And pretty cool. This is the ultimate. I mean, we walked in here and we're like, oh, like, feast your eyes, man. She's cracking an egg into a glass of milk. Have you ever seen anything so friggin' sexy? Jesus. And then this right here, I guess Billy Joe is Billy Joe's very fond of this picture. He carries it in his guitar case the whole time. And they've loaned it to us to uh, give us Inspirata. They call him Gorgi. They think it's one of the guys from Gorgoroth, though I don't think it is one of the guys from Gorgoroth, but n nevertheless, they call him Gorgi, and he's on loan for Inspirato. So in here, take you into the, the main drum tracking room. And when McLean and I came in here, Dave McLean was like super into it. Like I guess it looks like one of the rooms from A Night at the Opera on the back of the Queen record. And it just had a cool vibe, like the curtains and kind of odd, a little eccentrically built. And we like that, like it kind of had a cool vibe. It's actually pretty, as big as this room is, it's actually super dry, which is cool when you play a bunch of crazy thrash metal like us because you don't want to have a bunch of room sound. You still need it tight. When I do the piano jam, I haven't recorded. I've taken a couple passes at it, but the piano. I take a couple passes at it, but we have a song that's just got piano and a four string quartet on it. And, uh, or just a string quartet, not a four string quartet, but a string quartet. And, as you can see, I I can play. Uh, I took a couple piano lessons when I was in fourth grade, so I can. And that's about as good as I can get on the piano. But we have a couple of jams where one of the songs has some piano in it, and uh, I'm playing it. And as you can see, I've marked down, <laughs> color coordinated the verse. This is the verse in blue, and then this is <laughs> this is the chorus in red, so I can remember where the hell I'm going. And uh, I actually recorded it, and I finally got like a good version of it. But we hit, the piano was so out of tune with everything that we had to get it tuned, and now I've got to retrack it. The ultimate, one of the best album covers of all fucking time. And then this right here, so this is where I do all the vocals. Um, this is Phil and Adam's mic, and then this is my mic right here. Got a bunch of lyrics, and you know, sometimes we click curtain it all off. Got some writing on there. And of course, we close this door, and then when we close this door, we have this a super kick ass Black Sabbath poster with the Masters of Reality Black Sabbath font. Even though it says Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, it's actually the Master Reality font.